All right. Congressman, you showed the State of the Union your reaction. Well, you know, the President said a lot of things tonight in the State of the Union that are unfortunately contradicted by the actions of his administration. Uh, you know, for example, we, he talks about energy security. That's something we've been pushing for for a long time. But as we know in South Louisiana, the President's actually put thousands of people out of work. He won't let us go back to work because he won't put clear policies in place. But just last week, the President rejected the Keystone Pipeline would have not only made it, our country less uh, dependent on these Middle Eastern countries who don't like us, but it would have created 20,000 American jobs. And the president said no and sent that oil to China. Uh, so unfortunately, the president gives these political speeches, but they're contradicted by the actions he takes in his own administration. What are, you, what are some of the things you'd like to see the president do to act on this speech? You know, it's time for the president to stop giving these political speeches and roll up the sleeves and actually start working with those of us who want to get our economy back on track, who want to control spending, uh, which unfortunately is something the president's not interested in. You heard him outline billions of dollars of new spending initiatives at a time when we need to be controlling Washington spending. You know, I think probably the best line of the night was when he said the executive branch needs to change because I think that's something a lot of people across the country have been feeling because they're just fed up with this Obama economy that's led to skyrocketing unemployment and it's led to a failed leadership where people know the president has been sitting on the sidelines you know, traveling around giving speeches but frankly when it comes time to roll up your sleeves and get stuff done the president's been nowhere to be found. Anything else you'd like to add? You know, I think we're going to continue to fight here in the House for hard-working American families who just want to go back to work, uh, who want to earn a good living and be able to provide for their families, but are being blocked right now by the President's own policies. You know, he, he made this passing reference uh, to the failed Solyndra loan, where he spent over half a billion dollars of taxpayer money uh, to, to be blown on this, on this solar investment that even his own administration says wasn't a good deal. Uh, you know, and at the end of the day, you look at the President's health care law, Obamacare, one of the biggest impediments to small business job creation that I hear every day from small businesses is the President's health care law, and yet he continues to double down on those failed policies. So he'll give a speech tonight, but unfortunately he goes back to work tomorrow with a bunch of radical liberals who are carrying out an agenda that actually kill jobs, run more jobs to foreign countries, and make us more dependent on foreign oil. So, you know, until he looks in the mirror and realizes it's his policies that are creating these problems in the economy, uh, we're still going to be struggling and, and we're still going to be fighting to reverse those policies in the House.